Extinct animals have always fascinated us, and for scientists, the obsession goes even further with frozen mammoths preserved in Siberian ice, or the DNA of vanished species locked in fossils, some dream of bringing them back to life. But in the most remote corners of our planet, from misty jungles to endless steppes, legends already whisper that a few never truly disappeared. Could these shadows be more than stories? Brain fuel. One, the Chalicothere. This beast was the strangest to ever walk in Africa. Towering at three meters high and weighing as much as three gorillas, it combined size and power with a disturbing form. Its limbs carried claws curved like sickles, some longer than a man's hand, strong enough to tear down thick branches and even split trees apart. An herbivore, but one that looked armed for war. In Kenya and Uganda, legends tell of the Nandi bear, or Kimosit a nocturnal monster with massive claws and a raging howl. Villagers feared it for breaking into huts, dragging people into the dark, and striking down those who defied taboos or disrespected the spirits of the forest. Some stories describe it feasting on human brains. Others say it carried off children as an offering to the unseen powers of the night. Who knows if it still roams the jungle? Two, the thylacine. Also known as the Tasmanian tiger, the thylacine was a large carnivorous marsupial from Australia and Tasmania. It looked like a slender dog, but bore dark stripes across its back, reminiscent of a tiger. Nocturnal and elusive, it hunted kangaroos, wallabies, and small birds. The arrival of European settlers in the 19th century proved fatal. Considered a threat to livestock, it was hunted relentlessly. Government bounties, combined with habitat loss and disease, led to its rapid decline. The last known specimen died at Hobart Zoo in 1936. Yet sightings have never stopped. Locals and explorers claim to have seen, in the wildest parts of Tasmania and mainland Australia, furtive silhouettes with that distinctive gait. Perhaps the Tasmanian tiger never truly left its homeland. Three the plesiosaur. In the age of the dinosaurs, the seas were home to strange marine reptiles, plesiosaurs. Their long, flexible neck, small head lined with sharp teeth, and four powerful flippers made them agile predators. They could exceed 10 meters in length and hunted fish, ammonites, and other sea creatures. They are believed to have gone extinct during the Great Cretaceous Extinction. Yet certain legends and sightings keep the doubt alive. The famous Loch Ness Monster in Scotland is often described with a silhouette reminiscent of a plesiosaur. In other remote regions of the world, similar stories emerge. In the lakes of Canada, such as Lake Okanagan, the legendary Ogopogo has been described with features comparable to a plesiosaur. In Africa, Lake Tanganyika and Lake Malawi have long been the setting for myths about enormous aquatic creatures, passed down through generations of local tribes. Even in the icy waters of Siberia's Lake Labankir, tales of giant reptilian shapes moving beneath the surface continue to circulate. Could these vast, deep, and little explored bodies of water still hide a survivor from the age of reptiles? Or are the shadows that glide beneath the surface merely the reflection of our imagination? Four, the Moor Ethereum. Around 37 million years ago, long before the appearance of modern elephants, lived the Moor Ethereum. Smaller than a hippopotamus, it measured about three meters in length and weighed around 300 kilos. Its stocky body, short legs, and elongated head with a small prehensile snout gave it a strange appearance somewhere between a primitive elephant and an amphibious mammal. It spent much of its time in the swamps and rivers of North Africa, feeding on aquatic plants. It is thought to be one of the earliest relatives of elephants, but also of manatees and dugongs. Officially extinct for millions of years, it still features in certain African stories that speak of unknown semi-aquatic animals, rarely seen with the look of a giant water pig. Perhaps in the muddy meanders of certain tropical rivers, the discreet shadow of the Moritherium still glides between the tall grasses. 5. The Woolly Mammoth 
During the last ice age, the woolly mammoth was a giant of the frozen steppes, weighing as much as a school bus and towering over three meters tall. Its long, curved tusks could grow longer than a man, powerful tools for shoveling snow to uncover the grasses and mosses it fed on. Covered in thick brown fur, it carried its own winter coat, perfectly built to withstand brutal Arctic winds. And like today's elephants, these massive beasts weren't loners. They marched together in herds, shaping the icy landscapes they called home. Around 10,000 years ago, most disappeared, likely due to climate warming and human hunting. Yet, small populations are believed to have survived on Wrangell Island in the Arctic until about 4,000 years ago. Frozen carcasses found in Siberia, with flesh and intact DNA, fuel hopes of bringing it back through genetics. And what if, in the most remote polar expanses, a few massive silhouettes still moved unseen in the blizzard. Six, giant moa. Just a few centuries ago, an enormous bird roamed the forests and plains of New Zealand, the giant moa. Females could exceed three meters in height and weigh more than 200 kilograms. Lacking functional wings, it moved on long, powerful legs and grazed on tall vegetation thanks to its slender neck. With no natural predators, it reigned undisturbed until the arrival of humans. The first Maori, around the 13th century, hunted it intensively for its meat and feathers, while the destruction of its habitat further reduced its chances of survival. In less than two centuries, it had vanished from known areas. Yet Maori stories and some modern testimonies speak of large brown birds spotted in remote valleys. The wildest and most inaccessible regions of New Zealand might still shelter the silent shadow of this vanished colossus. 7. The Elasmotherium Sometimes called the giant unicorn, the Elasmotherium was a colossal rhinoceros of the Ice Age. Over 2 meters tall, 5 meters long, and weighing more than 5 small cars, it carried on its forehead a single horn that could stretch 2 meters, longer than a man with a body built for power and a horn like a spear to defend himself. It was no ordinary grazer of the plains. Fossils prove it lived as recently as 39,000 years ago, side by side with early humans. This overlap has fueled the belief that the first unicorn myths were not pure invention, but memories of a beast that actually thundered across Eurasia. Some legends speak of a horn that could pierce any shield or of a creature that appeared only to those who had broken oaths. Forget Barbie's pony. This unicorn could tear down trees. If you learned something, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel.